In this Kotlin on Android development tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to, you can switch between fragments using a view pager. So welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so now we're going to be adding a view pager to our application where we can switch between fragments with just with your finger swiping between. And uh, we'll still support the navigation drawer and the toolbar as well. So we'll integrate all that functionality together in one app. And this is currently the last episode of the series on the, on the fragments. And if you want to get access to this documentation here, you just have to sign up to the free YouTube membership on the site. I will put a link in the description. And this tutorial does follow on from the toolbar tutorial as well. So it is recommended that you go for each one of these tutorials. But if you just want to do this uh, number five, the view pager tutorial, you can get the code from GitHub to start that and members on the professional plan also get a help of video showing them how they how they can download the Android project code for this particular tutorial using Android Studio. Anyway, we'll make a start. Okay, so we'll go into our file and the first thing we want to do is to add the view pager to our main layout file. So we'll go into the main layout file. It's called activity main. And I'm just going to add the view pager directly underneath the top of the drawer layout, layout and above the constraint layout. So it's a view pager. And I'm going to make the width match parent and the height match parent. And I'm going to give it an ID as well. And I'll just call the ID view pager. So nice and simple to remember. Okay, that's all we have to do with our main layout file. The next step is we want to create our fragment pager adapter. It's going to be a new file we're going to create. So I'll pop across to here to our package. Right click, select new, select Kotlin class. It's going to be a class, so select that. And I'm just going to call this media, or actually I'll call it image page, image fragment pager adapter okay and it is going to take a constructor and that constructor is going to be the fragment manager so I'll just call fragment manager and it's the fragment manager make sure we select support v4 Okay, and we're also going to implement the fragment page adapter down here and pass in our fragment manager from our constructor. Okay, now I'm just going to select the image page fragment adapter and in the Mac I'm going to press Alt Enter and implement members. I'll just drag this box across here so you can see it on my display and we're going to implement both of these select OK OK um, let's start with the top one first so basically get item items the fragment we want to return on the swipe so and um, we're just going to put in a when loop and it's just we're going to manually hard code, the zero is going to be the first fragment, one is going to be the second fragment, etc. like that. So I'm going to put in a when and pass in the position. I'm going to set it a default. Um, so the default position on the swipe fragment will just be the first image. So we'll call the first image new instance. So that's going to return, um, if you start up the application and you haven't swiped, this is what will be returned, will be the first image fragment. Okay. And for the first position, we'll still, we will return the first image for that. 
and the next one will be the second image fragment. If I can find, yep, second image fragment new instance. Okay, and finally, as I've been talking throughout this series, when is an expression, it has a value, it can return a value, so let's return it. And Kotlin, uh, the uh, uh, Android Studio IDE will nicely highlight what we're returning here. So that's get item completed. We just have to return the count. I'm just gonna hard code this in. We've only got two fragments, so I'm just gonna hard code this in using the Kotlin implementation equals two. So that's all we have to do for that. So that's our fragment pager adapt implementation done. We'll go back to our main activity. We'll go to our main activity. Okay, and go inside our on create. I'll just put it underneath here. And first we want to do is to create an object representing our fragment page adapter. So I'll just call it pager adapter equals image fragment adapter and remember we have to pass in the fragment manager and support fragment manager okay so we've got our pager adapter and we all we need to do is set that to our view pager so view pager has an adapter and we just pass our pager adapter to that and that's done now there's this one more final thing we need to do because currently we're switching between fragments using a view pager We've also got the drawer layout that's doing fragment transactions and the two aren't aligned. So if you use one then the other, you could have open fragments. And so what we want to do is redirect all the uh, uh, changing of fragments through the view page itself. And we will do that in the set draw item here. So what we can do is just change all this Co first code here, just keep the drawer out, close drawer, and then we're going to put in a when, select the item, item ID, and we will select the default there, and that default will be the first image, it will be, we'll be calling the view pager actually, view pager, current item to zero. Okay, so this just selects the first fragment basically, the order of what we've set in our pager fragment, and a fragment pager adapter. Okay, now we'll pro process the items itself. So our dot ID dot first item. And again, it'll be view pager, current item, equals zero and we'll do the same for the second fragment item view pager current oh let's see if I can fix that up current item equals one actually don't put two things could go horribly wrong Okay, and so now everything the view page is going to control all the changing of fragments. So, and that's the right way to do it, or else we can have fragments left open in our activity. Okay, so this looks good to me. Let's run it and see if it works. Okay, the application's now started. All I need to do is do a swipe and a swipe back. So as you can see, we've now got the swipe functionality incorporated into our application. And that concludes this episode where we implemented a view pager uh, working with a drawer layout. This is the last episode of the Fragment series. And if you do want to get the code there, we will put the details in this article here of how to get the code. And for members on the professional plan, they do get a video describing how to get the code as well. And the these articles uh, are available for free membership. You just have to, uh, there'll be a link in the description, and you just have to head across to the website, fill in a form, and you'll have access to this documentation, including the GitHub 
details. If you do want to get notified of these tutorials, don't forget to click on the uh, YouTube subscribe button. And I do make my regular announcements on Twitter and on Facebook. So I'll just put my handle up above me just so you can check out those as well. And um, I don't answer, answer technical questions on YouTube. I don't have it. I didn't just don't have the time for it. But if you do want to use my services, my paid services, just pop across to Code Mentor for that. Um, thank you for taking the time for watching this one. Bye for now.